this After Effects tutorial, we're going to go over how to create this 3D looking card using Adobe After Effects. And the full template for this file right here will be in our Patreon for the members. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new composition and I'm just going to name it card. And then secondly, I want to create a new solid. So right click, new, solid, and I'm going to name this one outline. And let's say width is 600, height is 800. That's typically how I like the shape of the card to be. And then what I want to do is I want to hold down left and then select rounded rectangle tool. And then I'm going to double click on it to make the edges more round like a card like. And then I'm going to duplicate this by hitting command D. And then let me throw a fill over it so you can see what's going on. I'm just going to go to effects, type in fill make it red and then I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard and let's scale this down to 95 and that should create a good outline right here now let me finish by creating a window right up here in the card I'm gonna right click new solid I'll name this one outline 2 and then what I want to do is I want to click the rounded rectangle tool and just create some type of card right here and maybe scale it down a little. Now I'm gonna duplicate it again, Command D, throw a fill on it so we can see where our card is. I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard and I'm gonna scale this one down right around here. And then I'm gonna select these two right here and I'm gonna bring it down so I can put some text up here. Now I'm gonna right click, new text, and I'm just gonna call this NFT card. Next step is adding 3D depths to these outlines. So I want to pre-comp the first outline you can see right here. I'm going to right click and hit pre-comp. Hit OK. Now what I want to do is drag in some texture background. And now this background is in the template for you guys for the Patreons. Now if I go back to my main comp right here, you can see we have the background that's in. It's looking better, more stylized. Now let's do the second outline. I'm going to right click, pre-comp it, drag in my background. Now the next step to make this a 3D layer is we're going to select everything and hit the cube right here. So now it's 3D space and I'm going to right click, new camera, I'm going to click OK. And if I hit C on my keyboard, I can navigate around it, or you could just click up here. So now that I can orbit around it, I want the outlines to look like it's in 3D space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the first outline, and I'm going to make this a 3D layer as well. And then I'm going to go over here and click the four view. And I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to push it back in Z space. I'm going to make sure to make this fill up the screen. And now if I go back to the main comp and hit C on my keyboard, I still can see it's not actually working. So how to fix that is you hit the rasterize button right here. And now you can see it looks like more of in-depth 3D space for the outline. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the second outline here. And here we have the second line is in 3D space. Now let's better stylize the background right here. I'm going to delete this fill right here, go into effects and presets, and I'm going to type in gradient, and I'm going to throw this gradient ramp on the background. And this tool right here, going to just select the top and the bottom, going to select this pink looking to, more, to better stylize it. Now let's go ahead and put something in the middle of this screen. So I'm going to create a new comp and I'm just going to name it screen right here. Now for this example, I'm just going to create a triangle. So I'm going to hit the polygon tool and I'm going to draw it right here. Now if yours looks like this, how to get around that is you just hit the down arrow key to give you the sh three shape you need. And here we have that. I'm going to make the outline a 10. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in any image you like to make it a more in-depth looking field by making this a 3D layer, hitting the four view, and I'm going to push this all the way back here, maybe make it slightly bigger because I want the stars to be bigger in the scene. Then I want the triangle to be 3D space, and I'm going to push it back 
right around here and if we go back in our main comp we need to drag it and put it right in this red box so here I'm gonna drag our screen gonna put it right here line it up uh, then what I want to do is here is our red box right here now I want to take our screen our triangle screen and I'm gonna put it above the outline right here uh, then I'm gonna hit the toggle switcher and I'm actually gonna drag this under it I'm gonna hit right here to alpha invert or alpha map and here it is alpha map is the correct one and now you can see it's in this red box right now so now let me just line it up maybe make it smaller and if I hit the camera or the orbit tool right here you can see it's not working and that's because we didn't rasterize it so I'm gonna hit the toggle switch and I'm gonna hit rasterize right here and here we can see it's moving around now I want to add more style to this triangle so I'm gonna put a glow on it So glow but first let me duplicate it put the glow on it right here zoom in let's make it like 40 and I want the glow to be a different color so I'm gonna type in fill and I want it to be like a pink looking background to match the card now let's go back to the main comp now if you want the whole comp to be glowing right click we're gonna add an adjustment layer and drag it all the way up here now anything done to this adjustment layer will affect everything below it so I'm gonna type in glow here and I'm just gonna throw it in the adjustment layer and let's make the glow radius a little bit bigger now I'm gonna see if this is working by hitting the orbit tool putting this on quarterly quality so it can work smoothly and that looks very nice it's working great it's all in Z space now remember the full After Effects template for this project right here is in our Patreon along with many future templates we're going to put in there along with our tutorials. Now to animate this card right here in 3D space what you're going to do is create a new null right here and I'm going to go ahead and make this null a 3D layer and I'm going to get the camera and I'm going to pick wick fit to the null right here and I'm going to get in transformation and I'm gonna put a timestamp right here now I'm gonna to go to the Y rotation and go to about minus 30 now you can see this got cut off right here so what if that happens to you just go to the main uh, outline and just make this bigger and that should fix that problem right there now if I go back to my null right here my null is basically the camera controlling now and then I'm gonna go over to like two seconds right here and I'm gonna do the opposite so 30 and that should push it over there so now we got this nice looking side to side looking now if I want this animation to loop I'm gonna go to four seconds select this keyframe right here copy and paste it and then I'm gonna select my in and out and put it right over this keyframe so the beginning is the same as the end and now we can view it right here now we can make this animation look way better by selecting our keyframes right clicking and go to keyframe assistant and putting easy ease on it now that should make it look way way better and smoother and we can mess around more if we want with the orientation and that's how you make a 3d card animation using Adobe After Effects I hope you love this tutorial and there should be many more to come